All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the episode of our Pokemon White 2 Randomized Nuzlocke. Hopefully, you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you go and drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. If we could hit another 500 likes on today's episode, that'd be absolutely amazing. So, here we are in Humalau City. Last episode, we made our way um, into the gym, actually. And then we also went north and fought Terrakion. So, that was really, really cool. But now, oh, we also lost a team member. And I was right, you guys did kind of destroy me in the comments, but I brought it on myself, so I can't really complain. Uh, the squad is looking a little bit different, so we have the addition of NASA, the Palkia, holding the Expert Belt with Hydro Pump, Spatial Rent, Earth Power, and uh, Aura Sphere. Then we have Bones, the Houndoom with Flamethrower, Glaciate, uh, Foul Play, and Fire Fang. Slipknot, the Terrakion with Sword Stance, Retaliate, Rock Slide, and Sacred Sword. Zaska, the Togekiss with Fly, Ancient Power, Techno Blast, and Miss Ball. Fixing the, um, I almost said the Strength. The Stantler with Strength, Zen Headbutt, Drill Peck, and Sacred Sword. Oh Ho, the Magnezone with Thunder Wave, Flash Cannon, Discharge, and Surf. And that is actually it. So, I believe the objective is to head south now because we did end up getting like the Colrus machine from your homeboy Colrus. And now we can go ahead and go through the Seaside Cave. So, I guess that's exciting. Unfortunately, we already had an encounter on this route. And what do you know? The exact same thing that we got. I was really excited when um, I was leveling up this Palkia and it got spatial rent. I was like, oh, it's actually time. We're going to destroy things. There's a part of me that wants to take the life orb off of um, Houndoom and give it to Palkia, but I think we're okay for now. I feel like it's good to give Houndoom that extra little oomph, if you will. <laughs> I don't really know what oomph is really supposed to be, but you don't know what I meant. You guys know what you meant. <laughs> it's whatever. But either way, here we are fighting a Clefairy. Um, by the way, I feel like YouTube has been having a little glitch or okay People have been complaining a lot a lot recently about how they're not seeing like uploads in their sub box Or people are saying like YouTube is broken all the time And I just want to know if that's like affecting you guys watching my videos or watching other videos, I guess so um, Like have you not been seeing the video in your sub feed? Has it not been appearing at all? Have you got like that one glitch where you open YouTube and it's like there's just an error? I don't know. I've heard that's a thing uh, so just let me know. I'm curious because obviously I'd like to know what's going on on YouTube. I haven't experienced a glitch myself. I don't think I have. Um, I guess there's no way for me to really know. Like whenever I don't see a video in my sub box, I just assume it's not uploaded. Maybe it's just not being shown if that makes sense. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Unfortunately, we also did get an encounter in the Seaside Cave too. So we really don't have much to look forward to encounter wise this episode. Uh, but that's fine. We've gotten a lot in the last couple. I believe if we beat you... We can heal up, so you know what? Might as well just get this out of the way. Um, another thing is that um, I have been streaming a lot on Twitch recently. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that at all, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitch. It's in the description. Someone pointed out to me that I had the wrong Twitch link. So thank you to whoever that was. It was um, my old Twitch. My old Twitch was Super Lugia, but I changed it to Super Streams because I kind of stopped, you know, with the Lugia in the name. But um, the only thing that Lugia is in the name now is freaking Twitter. Because I don't really have anything to change it to. I don't want to change it to Super Tweets. That's even worse than Super Streams. Like, come on. That's just corny. And if you do hear a little bit of background noise, it is the lawnmower dude. There's probably going to be a lot, and I do apologize. But this is the only time I have to record this video. Because I'm basically busy the whole rest of the day. So you know what? Sometimes you got to work with it. It shouldn't be too bad. It's not going to be as bad as the freaking fireworks that one time. Oh my god. But yeah, if... Oh yeah, we have the expert belt. Oh, it was also a crit. Okay. I was gonna say that thing actually got blown back. But um, yeah, if you know me streaming interests you at all, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It's been a blast. We actually started a Pokemon glazed Nuzlocke, uh, a live playthrough, and that's been really fun. It seems like everyone's having fun with it, and I cannot be more happy with the project. Um, just things like that. Like if I impulse want to play a game, that's exactly what I'll do. Does this guy ever leave? A rag and roll, and I have been waiting for a strong trainer like you. Sure. We'll beat your rock and roller. Oh wow, that's definitely not a rock and roller. Yikes. Can I space run you? Probably. Yeah. I just don't want him to miss. It's like 95% accurate, I'm pretty sure. So if I've wanted to give the wide lens, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea, because not only would it benefit uh, that, it would also benefit Hydra Pump. Hmm. Hmm. That's something to think about. That is definitely something to think about. I was looking for a fire type of sense like in the team preview right there. The sprite, Houndoom isn't, you know, it doesn't, it's not colored red. So I don't automatically like think like that. Oh yeah, we have it. So I have to like be like, oh yeah, that thing that is not red is also a fire type. Is that racist? I think that's racist. That has to be racist. 
got to be racist somehow in the Pokemon world. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Anything more about Twitch? Also, that region to region series over there with Whoop. Um, a lot of people were kind of concerned when I started streaming Glaze. They were like, where's Harko Soul Silver? Where's region to region? Are you doing this with Whoop? I'm like, I can stream outside of region to region. Like, I'm just trying to... Region to region is just a fun project that Whoop and I wanted to do to, like, you know, start up Twitch again. Um... But, it, you know, it doesn't always have to be region to region, guys. Come on, I can stream whatever I want. There's probably going to be a lot of random streams. Um, I don't know what I'm going to stream in the future. I probably won't stream battles because I don't really enjoy battling that much. I don't think I, anyone would really enjoy watching it because I also am not that good. Um, I don't even know if I would stream shiny hunting just because I don't really want to watch that anymore. Like, I used to be a huge shiny hunter. I used to, I used to stream it a lot. It's just like, I don't know, I might give in and... If you guys really want me to shiny hunt, I might shiny hunt, but I'd only really like soft reset with full odds because I don't like doing, you know, the chaining, and I think that's dumb. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess maybe sometime in the future. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do over there. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out if I even want it to like be a thing, like to even stream. I really enjoy doing it though, and it seems like everyone enjoys watching, so more than likely I will keep streaming. And I just don't know how when school starts that'll actually affect like how much I stream. Um, so that's all up in the air right now because as of now summer I can stream whatever I want pretty much um, But uh, when school is a thing, it's kind of annoying to find time, but you know what? It's okay We'll make it through. I hope I really hope so Because I don't want it to just be a weekend thing In due time my friends in due time. We've got a Buneary here. I'm about to destroy this thing with a spatial rent Get destroyed. Also, why are we still using Palkia? It's like level 55 almost level 56 we don't need to give him any more spotlight. Let's give some spotlight to Terrakion. Even better. Let's give it to the more broken legendary. Actually, not really more broken, but I meant to say the other legendary. Tiny mushroom. Okay. So I found, um, you know, north of Humala City, I found a uh, tutor for yellow shards. And he actually wants two yellow shards for ice beam, which is pretty freaking cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Do we battle this crustle right here? Because if we do, this is a new encounter. I actually don't know if we battle this Crustle. We do, so this is a new encounter. Awesome, because it's a static Pokemon. It is a Seedra. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Let's try a Quick Ball. And then uh, we can Paralyze and throw Dusk Balls. That sounds good. But we're going to have some luck. Not bad at all. So what do we name this thing? I'm naming it Mystery. Easy. After the uh, Seahorse and SpongeBob. Or Sea... That wasn't really a Seahorse, right? Mystery. Wishna. No, I feel like it was a seahorse. I don't know. I'm thinking if it was like some weird native to SpongeBob species, but I think it was just that. A seahorse. Nothing too crazy. Actually, no, seahorse is a pretty freaking crazy, man. So sorry if you're a seahorse out there. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Let's go this way. Grab that. It's a big root. Oh my god. It's time. If we get any Pokemon that likes to suck. I'm just gonna stop talking for the rest of the episode. Ice Beam would be really sick though on, um, what's his face? Palkia. I would not mind that at all. Because I don't really see us using Earth Power all that much. So it's whatever. It's whatever. Let's go this way. I like this strength puzzle. For a second, I thought I was in the Mistralton Cave. It looks. Oh, by the way, yeah, we missed our Mistralton Cave encounter. Someone reminded me of that very recently, actually. They were like, hey, you know, you said you're gonna get that encounter in the Mistralton Cave. That never happened, so we can go do that sometime. That'd be fun. I'm down. I'm definitely down. Burmy? Oh boy. Sacred Sword. You can catch that. Burmy's just go for Protect, right? Right? I would hate fighting the- Yep, there it is. I hate fighting these things in the wild, because all they do is they go for Protect, and of, of course they get the double Protect. Every single time. I never do it, but as soon as this freaking little Burmy goes for it, of course he does. All right, Black Belt Rich just got destroyed. What's over here? Like, I, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, there's a, T is a TM? Covet. I think that's normally Toxic. I would have actually much rather Toxic, but you know what? It's all right. Toxic would have been sick, but I think we're out now. Yes, we are. Not even bad. Do I have any Super Potions or something? Well, there goes my plot. <laughs> Oh my god, I think everyone knows that I rare candy at this point. That's why I say level up and not um, 
and not grind because I don't lie I never say I grind up I, I just level up I level up it's actually funny though because when we were streaming glaze I lost a Pokemon and I had to I lost my marsh stomp and that was kind of our carry at that time and God, you guys are so freaking cool. I was like, should I just rare candy? And you guys are all just saying, yes, just rare candy. Rare candy them up right now. And you guys are so sick for that. I, some people would have been like, no, please don't rare candy. Please grind up. And it's kind of, I mean, I did grind up earlier in the game. Like when I needed a Marsh Stomp for the first gym leader, I grind up like five levels in, I think the Milkshake Swamp, I'm pretty sure it's called. So it's not like I'm just using rare candies when I don't need them, but of course, like, who's gonna sit and grind up a Palky at 10 levels? It's a freaking Palky, it's gonna take forever, and, like, I could sit here and grind up all my Pokemon if I really want to. I actually don't mind it that much. I don't really, you know, I don't really care about grinding. I've done Nuzlocks on a DS without even, like, a speed-up button, and it, it kind of sucks. Like, you have to find a bunch of Audinos, and you just have to kill those, and that takes forever, but I still did it, and I'm actually really proud of that. It was, like, it was a Pokemon White Nuzlocke that I did while I was on vacation. Uh, it was like a kind of a school trip, not really, but either way, I talk about that all the time, who really cares? Um, but yeah, I could sit here and I could grind up my Pokemon for two to three hours, sure. But then I don't even get to record an episode, you guys don't get any videos, so... I don't, that, it's a trade-off, you guys can either get like, maybe an episode every three days, or you can get almost daily like I normally do, if I use rare candies, that's just kind of how it goes. A lot of people rare candy nowadays though, just because that exact reason, it's so much more time efficient, and it gets the point across, okay? <laughs> I've been pretty good about deleting the red candies from the bag, though, just to make it so, you know, I don't know. But I never lied, though. I never said I grinded up. I said I always leveled up. There's a trick. <laughs> no, I'm playing. It's all for fun at the end of the day, and, I mean, everyone can play the game how they want. If you want to grind up your Pokemon, go for it. Who cares? There are still YouTubers that grind. There are, are you know, and I, more power to them. I give them a lot of credit, actually. I grind early game though, like um, when it was like the second route or when we were trying to level up our Gyarados a little bit, I grinded then, that's when I used like, because there's no point in leveling up, like you just need to grind like two levels and the wild Pokemon aren't hard to beat, so there's no point in really rare candying there. But now when things get up to like level 54 and you gotta grind from 45 to 54, that's a bit ridiculous. But enough about that. I feel like people already know that. I rate, obviously, I rate candy on stream, so people probably assume. Pet Lil and Kabutops. I think I've showed rare candies in the bag a couple times. I definitely have. I definitely have. No one seems to care, though, so I'm thankful for that. Alright, Sacred Sword. Hell yeah, Kabutops is down. Why is this thing going for so... Okay, it's a Pet Lil, so... No freaking way. I was gonna say, man, it's a freaking pet lil. That's the only reason why I even decided to stay in for a second. It's because it's a freaking pet lil. If that pet lil killed me, you know what? I underestimated a plus lil and got blown back, so I can't really underestimate a pet lil. Like, that is not something that I should do. Hell no. I'm just gonna go for Techno Blast and absolutely destroy it. Stop going for Solar Beam, bro. Just please, like, Ice Beam something. Gosh. I don't know. I really don't know what you're going for. Dude, I don't know what it is with these like little Pokemon trying to actually blow me back, but I am not with it. No way. I'm going straight to my Palkia. Nah. You know what? The exact same thing could happen right now. Tepig's down, so you could Dragon Claw me, and that could actually be really bad. But nope. You're about to get Spatial Rendit into the next dimension. Literally. Literally. There you go. Adios, amigo. This part of the game is actually really, really annoying. I don't like it. Isn't the password just like Reshiram or something? Oh, is that a different thing? Because I would love it if I didn't. Yeah, you need a card key. Okay. So you go down here. No, 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 no. You go down here. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. I hate this part of the game. That's the dude that, um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is the helper guy, right? I don't know. Oh. But I honestly wanted to say Pokemon. It's alright, bro. He's a little weird sometimes. Next is a little... He's a little off, if you will. <laughs> alright, so we'll, we'll use Vixen. Why not? We haven't really used Vixen all too much. And I, I've actually been getting a lot of comments to drop Vixen. I'm like, what did Stantler do to you, man? Come on. Warning, warning. Intruders in the vessel. Everyone, please respond. I actually don't remember this room at all. With a bunch of... Oh. 
with a bunch of chairs. I don't. Is this a white two thing? It's probably a white two thing, and that's why. Why is he blocking off the chef? That's why I'm curious. Like, I'll fight you just so I can know what you want to do. What are you doing with the chef? What have you done? Don't we have a milk tank? Yeah, we have a milk tank in the PC. Yeah, but you guys have been wanting Buffalon for Stantler. And honestly, I can get behind that. But I, I don't know, man. Stantler's like kind of my buddy now. I don't know. I can't really swap him out just like that. Gyro Ball. See, you're not. You're, you're faster than me. I don't know why you're doing that. Thank you for not flinching me. That was really annoying. I did not like that one bit. All right, what's up with you? I make bread every day. That's it. Is there anything in the refrigerator? Nope. Three of the four digits are the same number. Oh, yeah, the code. Uh, please leave. Thank you. Uh, nothing in there. Um, they don't want to battle? That's so weird. Oh, you have to battle them. Wait, you might get it somewhere else. Wait, we can sleep here? <gasps> oh, it's actually lit. Okay, so this is a different puzzle from Black 2. That's why I'm kind of throwing off. In Black 2, there's the portals, and you gotta find the portals to get, um... I don't know. I mean, there's portals in this area. I know there's portals in the second part. Or there's not portals. It's like a... It's like a weird thing where you move one, and, like, the thing opens and closes. I don't freaking know. You might know what I'm talking about. It makes sense in my head, so... It's that headbutt. Embargo? Interesting. Oh, I was gonna say, please don't use Destiny Bond. That would be so depressing. If you use Destiny Bond, I would never ever want to miss that had but more in my life like please let me miss just so I can so these people don't even want to tell me what the password is will you tell me what the password is please tell me what the password is man I just want to get out of here so is that one gonna open the thing that is oh wait I, I can drill peck you I don't think you're gonna kill me yeah I, it didn't even occur to me that I could do it until I saw anticipation I was like doesn't that mean I have a super effective move uh my favorite number is zero so it's like so zero could be the one where there's three digits, or it could just be the other, like the odd one out. Have you seen any intruders? Wait, you're not? Is he gonna say I'm not an intruder, or I'm not Team Plasma? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, let's just strength this thing, because I don't have a grass move. That's so weird, like not having a grass type. I'm so used to normally having that kind of coverage, or at least a grass move, but we don't have that at all. Um, Curlia, I'm gonna go to uh, Bones for this thing. I was gonna say Zaska, but... Bones can just flamethrow it. He can't touch me with a psychic move, so why not? Tropius. Um, I'll just stay in, why not? There's no point in not. Oh, I could have Glaciate. We haven't even used Glaciate once. Oh, well. I mean, do I really need Glaciate? Not at all, but... I joined Team Plasma. Wait. You need the Plasma card to end. How do I get the Plasma card? I have to battle... I already battled you. Do I have to battle you? I have what you want. Oh, so you have the plasma card. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming she knows I want the plasma card. Maybe she thinks I want a pupitar. I definitely don't want a pupitar. I just sacred sorted the hell out of that thing. I'm gonna oho for this. Um, a lot of you guys have been tweeting me um, your playthroughs of White 2 and stuff. Like, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, Tweet it, tweet it at me. Tweet me and give me updates. Not like crazy updates like every single day, but like, I don't know. I enjoy seeing that kind of stuff. It's cool. And uh, like someone called a, like a Magneton or something named it Oho, and I'm like, hell yeah, man. Repping the squad. So you guys are great with that. I love it. All the fan art is amazing too. Um, I don't know if I put any on the last episode. I, I don't know. Sometimes like, it's not really worth putting one, so I'll like save it to the next episode and put two. Do the rest by yourself. Got it. So we got to enter a code. Oh, so you're going to show us Reshon and Zekron. That's good. Wait, Kirim too? No, just so. So we know that... I think the code is like 0001. Right? Or it's like 0100. Oh. Hello. I'm going to go straight to Oho for this thing. Straight to your homeboy right here. Oh, that's going to actually not do anything. Wow. I forgot how Lugia is. Like, he's so bulky. Not that crazy on the offensive side, especially in like a playthrough he doesn't have EVs, he doesn't have like, you know, the right nature if you were to be an attacker. But normally these things are calm nature, right? Or they're calm or bold, and they just be a wall. Oh, so it's like 0, 9, okay, we can figure this out, easy. It can only be a couple of things, right? It can be 9, 0, 0, 0, ow, that hurt, okay. Alright, so it can either be... 
I think it's... No, it's not that. Okay, well, back to the draw. I'm actually gonna just click on it, so. Let's see. Ugh. That one. Is it 9,000? Whoops. All right, maybe it's 9-9. Nine, nine. Maybe it's 9-9-9. Nine, nine, nine. Zero. You just gotta move the zero throughout. Nine, nine, zero, nine. There we go. All barriers were deactivated. You can now proceed. Hell yeah, hold on. I'm gonna heal up in case there's like a static battle here. And that is a weed whacker. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, but still, man, it's a freaking weed whacker. Just hearing weed whacker just makes you angry. That's what happens. Oh, God. Didn't I lose here? <gasps> I lost here in Blaze Black 2. <gasps> oh, I think, right? Did we lose here? That means if we beat this battle, we did my... Is that a Mewtwo? Hiram's Cry. Is that Mewtwo? Yo, we could get a Mewtwo, guys. Wait, no, we can't. You still don't, don't fight Kiram, like, until post-game. Right? Kiram's still post- Yeah, it is post-game. I think. Am I stupid? Yeah. Seedra and Simmons here. Alright, so I'm trying to beat this battle. I really want to. Okay, I'm actually fine with Solar Beam now, because if you so Am I about to lose my Vixen? No, we're good. With Gucci. I don't know how that killed, but hell yeah. Let's go to Bones. Because I'm assuming that Solar Beam is going to kill. It did. Thank you for coming through. That was actually a really risky play on my part, but I want to get a, I want to get a turn ahead. I want to get a turn ahead. And I did. I did. I made the switch out, assuming that Solar Beam was going to kill. And if it didn't, and he Hydro Pumped me, I probably would have lost Bones there. But sometimes you got to play risky. Sometimes you got to play risky. That's just how it goes. That should kill, right? No, it actually didn't. Okay, I'm getting into a little bit of scary territory right now. I don't really like that. Oh, thanks for helping out, bro. Do you not have an ice move? Like, I need to know. Are you just, are you strictly solar beaming out here? I'm about, I'm about to lose. Yep. Why can't you just freaking ice beam? You don't need to recover. I cannot rely on, like, you can never rely on your doubles partner in this. It's so freaking stupid, man. It's so dumb. You can't at all. You can't for a second say, hey... My freaking rival is gonna help kill this Whirlipede. No, he's gonna go for a recover, even though Ice Beam probably would kill from that range. So frustrating, man. I always lose a Pokemon in these freaking double battles. I was trying to not only beat this battle, but not lose a Pokemon also. I either lost here in um in Blaze Black 2, or I lost at Colrus, who I believe is the next fight. Wait, where are we going? Oh, what? The Colrus is not now. I thought Colrus was now. Maybe I didn't lose here. Maybe I lost in the second time you go here. Yeah, because I remember this thing goes up. And it kind of skirts out of there, right? So now we go to the giant chasm. That's what we do. This weed whacker is getting annoying. Like, I get you gotta whack the weeds, bro, but can you whack the weeds a little quieter? Just pull them out individually from the ground. That's what you really should do. It makes it so much easier. Trust me, it's efficient. It works. Alright, now it's starting to get really loud. Dude, this always happens when I need to record. It always freaking happens. Every single time. Good thing we're almost at the end of the episode, though. Dude, I totally, I totally feel you. I totally understand. I get it, bro. Alright, Karen, legendary dragon type. Yada, freaking yada, Charon. So I'm just assuming we have to go there. I didn't even read it. Right, uh, you can go. Okay, yeah. We're supposed to go to the giant chasm. Coolio. Alright, so let's go here. Throw bones in the PC. Unfortunately, we lost another Pokemon this episode. But of course, you can't rely on your doubles partner at all to kill anything. It's not even, like, the only thing that was kind of bad was that I was low. Like, I... I was low HP. He wasn't super effective on me or anything. Alright, so if we have a fire type, we have Heatran, obviously, but... Oh, we could pick up Gallop. I'm down to bring Gallop back. Um... 
yeah, I'm, I think Gallop is probably the best option. So we'll bring Gallop back. I will level it up off screen. You know what I'm saying? Wait, hold on, I'm going to move this right here just so. Uh, oh, that didn't solve anything. We have a Riolu. I totally forgot about that. All right, guys, but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. 500 likes is the goal, so we get that. That would be awesome, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.